My opinion has changed. Viewers warm to Camilla as she admits to shedding tears over terminally ill children and being scared of ghosts in a revealing new documentary. She's not always had the easiest of time in the court of public opinion, but it seems the Duchess of Cornwall has won over a new legion of fans this evening thanks to appearing in a revealing new documentary. The Royal, 70, allowed cameras to follow her for a year on official engagements for ITV's The Real Camilla. HRH The Duchess of Cornwall, which was broadcast on ITV tonight. In one scene, she was seen hosting a Christmas party for terminally ill children from Helen and Douglas House Hospice in Oxford. Camilla, 70, said, I think we came up with the idea of having the Christmas tree here and it's become an annual event. A lot of these children are dreadfully ill. You sometimes wonder, the next year. Are they going to be here? I usually go and have a good cry. It just makes you realize how lucky you are. When you see these brave parents who have very tough lives looking after these children and they don't complain about it, they just get on with life. Her comments seemed to endear viewers, with one tweeting, How wonderful she is with the children around the Christmas tree? I think I'm changing my opinion of her. Can't fault Camilla at all after watching this show. Another added, Wish people would finally leave her alone. She was always meant to be with Prince Charles. Let them be happy. Another said, Camilla has always been my favorite royal and this ITV documentary proves why. What a lovely, warm, down-to-earth woman, and a great sense of humor. Never seen Prince Charles look as happy as he did dancing with Camilla to an Elvis tribute. It's nice to see a different side to him said one. While a large portion of the documentary focused on the difficulties surrounding Charles and Camilla's history, it also showed a softer side to the Duchess. Cameras followed Charles and Camilla on various engagements, including a trip to Italy and a charity tea dance, where they enjoyed an awkward dance with an Elvis impersonator. He said of his wife, she has a wonderful way with people that is what is special about her. She is remarkable really. She is the best listener in the world and can get anything out of anyone. The program also featured a star-studded cast with interviews from celebrities including Joanna Lumley and Gillian Anderson, as well as interviews with Camilla's closest friends. Those who know her best shed some light on the real Camilla, with royal biographer Giles Brandreth insisting she isn't interested in position or status. He said of his wife, she has a wonderful way with people that is what is special about her. She is remarkable really, she is the best listener in the world and can get anything out of anyone. The program also featured a star-studded cast with interviews from celebrities including Joanna Lumley and Gillian Anderson, as well as interviews with Camilla's closest friends. Those who know her best shed some light on the real Camilla, with royal biographer Giles Brandreth insisting she isn't interested in position or status. Documentary makers Spun Gold spent more than a year following the Duchess both on official duties and in her spare time. The film showed her at Dumfries House, a Scottish mansion Charles saved for the nation which houses many of his charitable organizations, and where Camilla swears she felt the presence of a ghost. She said, If you could have seen it when the prince first spotted it, you wouldn't have believed it was the same house. It was so sad and unlived in, unloved and neglected and it had a really airy feel about it. There was definitely a ghost, without a shadow of a doubt. I remember the first time I walked up the steps, got into the hall and I thought, I can't go any further. I literally frowse. If my hair could stand on end, it would have done. I remember leaving and thinking I don't want to come back here again and I didn't for a few years. She also speaks of her excitement at the year ahead including the birth of William and Kate's third child and Harry's wedding. The Duchess said, very busy year ahead. We've got babies, we've got weddings, we've got a bit of everything. Then of course we've got my husband joining me in the 70s, which I'm very glad he's at last able to have caught up with me. So that will be the end of the year but it's going to be full of excitements.